to get a knife and poke at it oftentimes end with a severed spine too so let's say if we were going to do that in that case we just have to leave the jammer with them how expensive is the jammer or set up the car yeah checking on the price of the jammer hold on <laughs> okay i don't know i don't know i want there to be a way to keep him unconscious for uh Mm. What's the rating on that jammer? jammer? It's a rating four, so it's two thousand. So that's actually not as bad as I thought it might be. That's not worth his life to me. So, uh, I I think it is. Uh, you know, you could take some of the vials of the awakened drugs that are down there. We you can make that up. And uh, if not, then we can take some of that out of the expense count and personally cover it for a coyote. I think the inconvenience is worth it. Uh, it makes us less of a target uh, against Horizon because it fits in with the sort of social mores as established by the runners. I, I definitely get that. Um, but I feel like there's got to be an easier way. Maybe it drives them into a dead zone. have the car's Wi-Fi turned off by default? Like, well, physically disabled? Well, I mean, we could definitely do that. I don't know. Again, we'd have to go all the way up to San Bernardino and get his car back, wouldn't we? Wouldn't it just be easier to just throw his unconscious ass out in the toxic zone or, you know, uh, <laughs> leave him off a... We could leave him on the surface of the island of the bolt hole that the Jaguar shapeshifter gave us. That's a dead zone. That's a dead Indeed it is. Yeah, but he'll probably drown or starve to death there. That is... <laughs> that is not our fault. <laughs> I, I, I guess that if, if we're trying to uh, maintain good PR by not killing someone, we should, you know set it up so they don't die they're just held up for a day or two I, I find the leaving him naked in the toxic zone hilarious <laughs> you don't think he has well, we odds for surviving this perfect uh, well, we, say we don't have an island in toxic zone you know it's actually within the LA area itself but you know we could do it in the toxic zone too I again fine here's what we'll do I mean, we'll just uh, make sure his ass is unconscious, you know, whether it's through another ortho skin shock or me throwing a stun ball that I can recover the stun damage from. It doesn't fucking matter. We gotta get a move on. We're gonna drive up the San Bernardino with his damn unconscious ass. I'm gonna take the mage cuffs off. We'll have some fucking pla shitty plastic restraints on him. You know, we'll find a way eventually with enough successes and enough time. Coyote can get into the car. We'll leave his ass in the trunk. Eventually the thing can be programmed to pop open at, you know, maybe eight hours. No, maybe, uh, obviously he'll need to make sure we have enough air. We'll take care of that. Regardless, his ass will be in the trunk for a while. He, it's going to be at a warehouse that apparently we've been able to keep going to that no one really uses anymore. He's not going to die. We'll take care of that so that he'll be completely out of the way. We'll throw in the jammer with him. Um, we'll Hell, make it... After, after the time period... Well, no, no, we can just have it drive him to a dead zone, and then after the time period ends, drive him home. Right. That is possible. Sure. We'll make it so, we'll, you know, we, we have enough time, we can make it so that the cameras are disabled, so the car cameras never capture any footage of us. All of those should completely cover our bases. All cast to sterilize that I recover from the drain resistance. I just want to get on to doing the damn fucking horizon actually trying to go get the girl because we've spent seven hours on this session. Basically, we're going to keep him occupied and alive for the next 24 hours in a way that makes us look like good guys. Okay. Go ahead and take your token to the... You can drop him in the elevator already. Okay. The, the blue little elevator over there. All right. 
It's like, and I, I mean, I, I don't have a problem with nine, ten hour sessions. I'm just saying I don't want anyone to run out of energy. We've spent a lot of time going over minutiae, and that's great for the system. Okay. Go <laughs> ahead, and I just want Aaron to do this for the moment, and it looks like Crimson may be getting kicked soon. Um, go ahead and click your token. Oh, never mind. It just it always does that for me. Uh, go ahead and click your token and hit Control I. Wow. See, that is the expose a visible command. If you right click on your token and select expose in the visible area, you can do that as well. But control I is a very nice and convenient shortcut for it. That's neat. I know, Sean's showing you the good shit. I didn't give you that, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, you're going to know he's there beforehand, and uh, go ahead and remove some more vision in a moment. Um, essentially, what do you plan on doing when you get downstairs? Question. A Twitch has the best reflexes of all? You shoot his ass. And if he doesn't go with that, I stun his ass. <laughs> Yeah, no, absolutely. And, uh, and, and, if, and if that doesn't work, Coyote just fucking does a dwarf punch, you know, leaps at him across the terminal. Yeah, Coyote can't do that. Twitch is... Uh, he just, he's not dexterous enough. Uh, Twitch is probably... Uh, yeah, Twitch is going to be going in with uh, full armor, a uh, silenced pistol, um... Not really going to go with the chameleon suit because this is not a stealth op. This is a speed op. Or rather, it's not a stealth op in that way. And uh, she's just going to shoot the guy. With a stick and shock. I I'm going, of course, with my normal equipment. No spells cast because I know about the ward. And uh, I'm thinking probably a balaclava or something. Just in case we uh, fail to wipe our... Uh, appearances from uh, this place's nexus. Hey, so go ahead and uh, bowl your initiatives. The uh, balaclava, ski mask. Gotcha. Yeah, I was going to do the same thing. Gosh, I keep getting errors. I got three of them in a row as well. Yeah, yep, it's so because I'm fucking with vision blocking. Yep. Say, so, uh, I actually do actually have written in my chumber description, and while on a run, a ski mask. <laughs> Yay, I actually got hits on a test. Oh, man, I keep rolling. Okay, I got to re-roll because I, was, uh, I did not want to use... Uh, All right, it didn't register my initiative test, and uh, I keep getting nothing but fistfuls of errors. I should not have fucking Same. vision blocking. <laughs> and now I'm disconnected. Yeah. All right, more errors. What have you done, Sean? Did you not learn from the VTM campaign? What is wrong with you? <laughs> I, I should have known all vision blocking has to be done ahead of time. It works kind of like that, but not if I do anything else. Uh, and so, I, think um, that, this... uh, I think that Twitch is basically going to be broadcasting the uh, scientist login information from her disposable. That works perfectly fine with that. And that's the only thing that she's going to be broadcasting. Her uh, primary comlink is going to be in hidden mode. There we go. I'm on the initiative yeah. result now. Coyote's not broadcasting. He has no drones with him either, so yeah. he can do that. Yeah, I, I'm on hidden mode. I know we're on to corporate territory. Fuck it. <laughs> oh god, vision blocking was such a bad idea. Sean, it's fine. It's the, obviously the, the 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 vision blocking stuff can definitely be pretty cool, but uh, it it can lead to some. Uh... <laughs> I'm getting just tons of errors now. Uh, what you can do then, I mean, we already know how the map looks. You could just turn it off. I mean, uh, you might not want to do that, but we do know how the map looks. We can use our role pay, play there, powers you, to you, not you use get... information. 
you get to see also all the other things I throw over there. Uh. Yeah, that, that one van was just a template that was going to be duplicated repeatedly depending on what you did. Um. <laughs> <laughs> That's good to know. <laughs> Um, so go ahead and, and it, it appears that the, they may, the errors may have stopped for the time being. Go ahead and uh, twitch us up first. Alright, well she'll take her uh, first step out of the uh, elevator and promptly shoot the security officer with a stick and shock. Oh, and uh... Let's see, how do I reload my gun? Ah, um, it. with the it, it'll be at button. the same ammo value after I shoot anyway. Which button would be how you would do that, but it would be. <laughs> hey guy, I hit you behind the desk. You scolded the damn scientist about not paying more attention. Um I think that he would probably get a cover bonus for being behind the desk. Yeah, I'm looking has partial cover is a plus two. Sitting down, I didn't. I don't know whether that would have a negative impact on his dodge. Probably not. Uh, well, I mean, it's, he's sitting down. He's probably just. Oh shit, someone not, I don't know, just came out the door. I'm going to hide under the desk. So, really no effect either which way. It's just yeah, yeah, that sounds perfectly legit to me. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Best security guard ever. Dive out of his chair into cover. So yeah, five hits. Let's see if he dodges it. Uh, I've got the wait, whatever. So that's a starting s 10 electric shock damage. Stun damage, rather. Um, which is resisted with body plus half impact. Plus non plus electricity resistance. Plus non conductivity rating if he has right. any on his armor. No clue if he would or not. So, eight See. stun, and See. he rolls to resist. Yep. Uh, the there's eight stun damage, and now he must succeed on a body plus willpower plus half impact armor test. The threshold is three. Plus again any uh, non conductivity. Right. Any. He is not incapacitated. However, he suffers a minus two dice pull modifier to all actions for uh, six combat turns due to disorientation from the shock. And uh, that'd actually be stun damage rather than physical. Yeah, I know. It just yeah. popped in whatever one. Yep, Coyote moves forward, and he's going to shoot with Stick and Shock as well. Hey, first time Coyote personally has mixed it up in combat. Yeah. Yeah. I know, right? And is his weapon suppressed? Ah, uh, shit, let me check. If it isn't, that might change what I do. No, it shouldn't. Fuck That's it. That's a good point. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck just, it. just fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> There's only one other individual here that we have to worry about. See, these might be yeah, soundproof. You don't have it, yeah. but whatever. See, you know, there's a that's solid, it, there's other, a solid floor through doors and walls. He might very well be asleep right now. It's true. We don't know how thick these walls are. We only know how thick the doors are. Doors and walls are both a foot thick. Okay, so yeah, he's probably not going to hear it anyway. As as Sean said, they're both they're all a foot thick and made of solid steel. Yeah, he does not have it. So it's it's going to be a very it's, it's going to be a loud shot, but he is going to uh, shoot him with his Colt. So 
So I'll just go with one. He gone. Ooh. So, uh, how much damage would that, uh, does that cult do normally, Gripson? Is it 5p? That sounds about right. Let me double check. Say, because uh, with the three hits, it would deal 8p, and he critically glitched on his defense test, which may result in further negatives. Um, yeah. Was yeah, that it's stick five. and shock? Or what it was, was stick that? and shock. Uh, dice pull 5. Yeah, you already need that. So, yeah, it was a... Right. Six damage is stick and shock yeah. is plus three, so um I, I forgot that he was using stick and shock, so yeah, it's uh it's currently nine stun he's looking at right now. Yeah, he'll he'll just go unconscious. <laughs> like, he he volunteers not to roll that. It's like upon further reflection. <laughs> Basically he dives for to go under the desk and um Sees Twitch, dives to go on the desk, uh, gets shot, die tries to dive again, and this time dives his face straight in the desk, pops up, and gets one right in the eye. Ow. Well, he's going to need Cyber Eyes now. Or at least that one Cyber Eye. So, um, go ahead. Try not to pass through the walls too much. Uh, it, or is this door actually propped open? Um, no, none of the doors are propped open. Okay, I, I didn't know whether it was, like, kept open, like the scientists knew that sometimes occurred. So, let's see, we can't kill the, uh, cameras from, uh, here, can we? Nope, this is purely just panel and, uh, Camera is showing up, but no actual control over here. Okay, right. All right. So, so, I'll pat this guy down real quick for uh, anything he might uh, have on him worth anything, including his uh, comm link, which I assume has his security codes on it. His comm link is uh, it's just the device right here for. Um, he's got his Aries Predator, and uh, his goggles or his glasses are probably worth something. I'll take those too. And I'll turn the electronics on everything except for the comm link off for now. Um, all of his electronics were set to, uh, already set to, uh, skin link. Fantastic. All right, then. The, uh, the key on him by means to, uh, open the door, then, if it actually is The door locked. is unlocked. Okay. Uh, in that case, your server goes through and say, obviously first priority is the target, however, it might be nice to try to free some of the other individuals here too, if they actually have the mental means. Do you guys actually want to go downstairs into the guard room and try to take out that guy first before we... Absolutely. I don't want to get surprised by anything. All right, then Go Twitch. ahead and make a perception roll. Is this auditory, visual? Uh, auditory. <laughs> wow. That was below average. We all were below average. And yet, Truth Say is still the only one that hears the guy opening the door. Motherfucker, I'm a killer. <laughs> all right. Say, so, uh, you're the only one on the hallway anyway. Yep. You you want a new initiative roll for us? You what do you want yep, from us? Yep, go ahead and make another initiative roll. All right. Woohoo! Still two hits. Oh, dick! You little shit. Maybe he'll be surprised. Co Coyote is reminiscing about shooting the guy, so he, he he's otherwise involved. Well, uh. Neither uh, Twitch nor Coyote will get their, uh, get to go on the first IP. They'll have to reserve it for the second one because, uh, well, neither of them heard shit. The second guy opens up and he's, you know, uh, clearly, oh shit, there's someone coming in and has his gun already out. Shh. 
straight at truth there. Well, of course, Sean. <laughs> well, uh, just straight through, just straight through the foot of steel. <laughs> Let me see if I want to take a full defense. No, I don't, because that wouldn't actually do anything for me. I have no dodge. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, make my defense test. See if I subtract any of those. I let's see. I how many points of edge do I actually have? I think I have two. Yeah, I have two. All right. What I'm actually going to do then is uh, let me go ahead and take my edge down the two, and I'm going to take my edge down the one. I'm going to go ahead and spend a point of edge here uh, to stack onto my defense dice here. So instead of two defense dice, I'll have six defense dice. And the rule of... F Why do you make Grimpa sad luck? Why? All right. That's uh, 10 physical. Uh, let's see, that's an armor penetration of minus one. That's ballistic. I go ahead and subtract the minus one from my ballistic test. That is going to be seven physical damage by the looks of things. So a very good shot to the stomach. He um, apparently knew something was up, yanked the door open, and shot you straight in the stomach. No hesitation. Your turn. Blow that motherfucker away. Not only have, have I been the person who has repeatedly damaged himself and been the only person who's hurt himself thus far, I am the first person to actually get hurt by Team NPC. Um, yeah, what by about random that exploding move number two. Well, that, well, I mean, was that Team that NPC? Wasn't, that wasn't Team <laughs> NPC, yeah, I, I was that was Team it. Object. <laughs> that was Team Object. <laughs> that, that, but that is true, that you may raise a very good point, Aaron. Trusair is, uh, you know, I imagine uh, as the, the door might have been open because he heard the sounds, you know, he slowly rotates, you know, he's wondering, you know, back of his head, why did I take the lead as he gets shot and it goes through all of his armor into his stomach, you know, coughs up, <laughs> motherfucker, as his free action. And as a complex action, um... Yeah, no, no. This this was going to be a stun ball, stun ball situation, but but I, I I think we're we're going to have to go with a uh, a force five mana bolt. We're gonna expend the final point of edge. I need to make up for some of these dice. Uh, hmm. That's a force five mana bolt. That's looking at eight p right now. That's resisted, that's resisted by wi willpower. willpower, yes. In that case, he takes 7p damage. You deal 7 physical to me, I deal 7 physical to you. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, let me, uh... 5 divided by 2 plus 2 is 4... Uh, take one stun damage. And uh, Twitch and Coyote have certainly heard what's happening by now. All right. Um, let's see. Yeah, Twitch can get into a firing position this round, right? Or this pass. Yeah, that door can be swung all the way open. Then, uh, Twitch is, uh, going to move there and, uh, take, uh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna say that she's gonna take both shots right now. Um, she's gonna, she, she's going in with the intent of double tapping. Even if the, uh, first one drops him. Yeah, e um, I haven't actually been doing it like that, but that's actually how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be you declare your entire turn and then you take it. Ah, uh, fair enough. Well, yeah, she's going in with intent of double tapping. So, go ahead and roll. Damn, Aaron, you are in a fucking roll of these dice. 
That's uh, uh you're looking at uh twelve stun electricity. <laughs> <laughs> of course by uh, body plus uh, half impact armor down to 10 stun electricity so he's out either way now <laughs> in which case I think your second double tap's gonna kill him <laughs> yeah Unless go ahead and roll it he shot one of my teammates in the belly. That ain't right. And he's unconscious, so he doesn't get to dodge. Hmm. He'll still have his uh, resistance stuff. Right, so hopefully he can... Uh... That's that's 8S, which, uh, yep. which puts him at 5 overflow, <laughs> I think. Which is enough to send him dead and uh, falling down those stairs. Stops his heart, right? Yeah. Cardiac arrest. That, that's the, that will be the coroner's report if anyone ever finds the body. And that was, as far as you know, the entire security of the place. Does right, anybody well, have a med pack? Oh, wait, let me shoot twice. <clears throat> Motherfucker, and here I was just talking about you taking the lead, Twitch. Yeah, and then you run ahead. God damn it. Is the slug still in you? Uh, uh, uh... <laughs> Y yes <laughs> Twitch will uh, take a look at uh, his back just to make sure Yeah, probably still in him. I mean armor still put up some fight Fuck With bullets in their bodies. It's fine. I'll be fine Get the damn girl <sighs> I know a good doctor will go there after this op does he know how to operate an awaken? Yes. Are you lying to me? <laughs> no, he's some kind of healer. Uh oh. Oh. All right. I'll uh, I'll keep a watch on the desk in case uh, the guard had enough time to send out an alert. I imagine he heard fucking Coyote's loud shot. All right, um, let's uh, try and grab anything that we know that's good first, then grab the girl. We don't want to be dragging her around while we're looting the place. Agreed. And Coyote's going to go for that uh, door and see if he can use a, a microfilament uh, chainsaw to get through it. Where and is keep it? in cover. Trusayer is going to uh, use the siding of the wall and the door a bit as cover so he can keep an eye out on the uh, on the elevator. And uh, the submachine guns would be downstairs? Yep. Um, to note that down, that's... Uh... And what gear did this particular security officer have on him? Just the comm link, the predator, and the goggles? Um, yeah, that's basically all they had down there right. with here. They've got some personal stuff, like some personal things downstairs, but uh, nothing of it's worth much. Okay. Any unsecured certified cred sticks? Nope. Nothing like that. Nothing actually to tell you even who they are. All right. Um, and after that, 
where are the various drugs and medical supplies kept? That would be either down in his personal thing, which is what Coyote's trying to get through at the moment um, with a chainsaw, or uh, the storage area, which he was sure was cleaned out. I mean, like, completely cleaned out, which is there's a door up in the top right. All right, then uh, Twitch will uh, uh, check to make sure that uh, Truth Stayer's uh, not getting worse, and uh, then go... Uh, Check Coyote's progress.